on his property. He saw me trespassing his real estate. He reached in his pocket for a pistol. He came after me and pistol with my behind. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman beat me to a pulp. He gave me a yell down war hair right. He told me that he was going to kill me if I don't get off his real estate. He gave me five minutes to get in my bronco and hit the rookie road. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. At 10 o'clock p.m., I drove my bronco back to Birdman's real estate. I jumped over his fence at the dark. I picked up a brick and shot a Birdman's window pane. Birdman sighted me doing it and reached for his pistol. Suddenly, I jumped back in my bronco and took off like O.J. Simpson. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. Birdman kicked my ass. Bronco was London. Bronco was Chicago. Heinz. It's America's favorite ketchup. so excited. Pat Kelly. Grandiose delusional disorder is characterized by delusions of power and supreme importance. Because that's my strength. The economy, getting OPEC to behave. We have all the power. You want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Donald Trump is like what a hobo imagines a rich man to be. Everything I say is so funny. Hey, 
say yes. Listen, I have your number. You know what I'm saying? Nobody got time for this. I don't know who you are. But yeah, don't call my house playing with this phone, all right? This is my mother's house. And we, like, we do not respect. We don't believe. We don't like this, man. Don't call that my house anymore. It's an untenable situation for somebody to have to live with. Stop calling my house. Yes. Hello? Listen, you would love to speak on the phone this way, man, but you would never like to see me face to face. You're going to apologize. How about for what? Who are you? You sound like a white sick man for an apology. This is my house. Don't call here. Get a life, you know, get a get a real job. Get a life? You're calling my house. Who needs the life, man? No, 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 no. Get no, out of no. here, man. Do you go to school? Do your mother go to school? Behave yourself. Behave yourself. Don't call, don't call my house anymore, all right? I want you to speak slowly. Speak Why? Because you're slow enough you can't answer? So you can't, you can't understand? understand you. you, lady. Is get that a slow life, enough for you? Know, get, a, get a real job. Tell your mother to get a real job. Get you some real pills, you sick bitch. had a healthy sexual appetite. I've never known how many partners I've had. I would say in three digits, but, you know, I, I don't think about it. Well, um, something like 36? What? Something like 36? Who are you, boy? Boy, what is that anyway, something like 36? Does that include me? Um, 37. I'm 37? Go in class. Oh, my God. 37. My girlfriend sucked 37 in a row? Say, what do you like, Mona? I don't want to brag. I don't want to boast. I always tell them I like to. You're feeling 
hopeless or depressed, you may have PTOD, post-traumatic Olympic disorder. But now there's help with a mental health secret that Russia has known for centuries. Vodka. Vodka can help you cope with the reality of being in a third world country that's hosting the game. Vodka can bring you back to your normal self, living life to the fullest. Warning, vodka may cause erectile dysfunction, blackouts, blurred vision, slurred speech, poor driving abilities, and mysterious bruises. Ask your bartender today if vodka is right for you. Vodka, because losing is a bitch. It's so Educated and thought of. I'm incredibly smart. I'm a genius. I have a lot of powerful friends. I can do anything and have. I have an education that would blow your arm off if you look at the resume. Get over yourself. There's nothing special about you. Get over yourself. <laughs> system has this financial emotional meltdown every three to five years that their business model from 1630 isn't working anymore i can't understand how a 21st century information system based on licking walking and a random number of pennies is struggling to compete what is the reason and so they always send the postmaster general out. He always has to make a big speech about how what a tough time that they're having. And he comes out and he's freaked out. He's got rings under the eyes, no shave, pulling all-nighters. We can't do it anymore. We got to go up a penny on the stamps. There's no way around it. We're trying to get some breathing room. The costs and the infrastructure. And we're all like, hey, dude, do whatever you got to do. We don't give a damn. What is a stamp anyway? We don't even know what it costs. 43, 48, make it a buck. You're going to get there. If you have some money left over, buy yourself some pants and a real car. If I could talk to the post office, if I could say to them, if you really want to be helpful to us, just open the letters, read them, and email us what it says. Yeah. Yeah, that is happening for real. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, listen up. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have a very special guest speaker today to speak to you about a very serious issue, and I expect you to act like young adults. Being an adult is super easy. Today's show is for adults only. Adults are stupid. The world would be so much better if it were run by babies. Yeah, good luck with that. Hold on to the night. Hold on to the memory. I wish that I could give you something more. Shut the Blue. He needed the money. A double pleasure is waiting for you. A double pleasure from double discount. A double great feeling, making you really alive. Double is the one for you. Double fresh, double smooth. Double delicious to chew. Pat Kelly. Pat. Drunk and stupid is no way to go through life, son. I still don't know if you're smart or stupid. Good morning. Can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? And a large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. Venti is large. Mm, no, venti is 20. Yeah. yeah. Large is large. In fact, tall is large, and grande is Spanish for large. Venti's the only one that doesn't mean large. It's also the only one that's Italian. Congratulations, you're stupid in three languages. Nobody can be this stupid. Is this Pat Kelly? It is. You suck. 
Dude, I am so glad you called. Can you please call your mom's cell phone number and see if you can get her off of my couch? If you could take, seriously, two minutes out of your unemployed life to make that phone call, I'd really appreciate it. And lastly, if you enjoy intimacy with goats, say you suck. You suck. Yeah, but not goats. Have a great day. <laughs> that was funny. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. Mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. You'll get the horns. The horns. The president has a big stick. A pretty good stick. Right as she sticks it.
you farm animal. It's not rocket surgery. Thanks up, in the green room if any one of you wants to take a meeting. That's M-E-A-T-I-N-G. I get in line before I kick you so hard you'd be wearing your ass for a hat. Aging Dr. Faggot! Dr. Faggot! She wears fat nominal. You won't eat words? Oh, little pig. No, I was, no, I was swimming in the ocean causing a commotion cause they are so awesome. No, I was, no, I was swimming in the Pretty big and pretty wide to beat a polar bear in a fight Like an underwater unicorn that got a kink out spatial harm And a Jedi on the sea I took a fool away to me Narbals, they are narbals Narbals, it's too good to touch your balls Narbals, they are narbals Narbals, he made us a dish, he's good brown What's up, Pat? What are you doing? Not much. Hanging out with my nephew, and uh, he wants to tell you something. Hang on. All right, put him on. That show was awesome. He <laughs> heard your intro for the first time today, and he really liked it. Now, how old is your nephew? Um, seven years old. Seven years old. And what's your name? Anthony. More seven-year-old nephews listen to the Pat Kelly Show than any other radio show. Can you dig it? Laser 99.3. Can you 